Now let's solve question 5. Determine the voltage across a 2 microfarad capacitor if the current through it is I of t equals 6 times e to the power negative 3000 t milliampers and then assume that the initial capacitor voltage is 0. So let's try to solve this as well. So first of all, we have the capacitance giving us 2 microfarad and that is basically 2 times 10 to the power negative 6 farad. We have the instantaneous voltage through the capacitor that is I of t and this is simply 6 times e to the power negative 3000 t milliampers. And then also, we are asked to assume that the initial capacitor voltage is zero. That means that we have V of T naught equals zero volts. And this is the point at which the capacitor is not charging. So that happens at time T naught equals zero seconds. Zero seconds. So let's try to find the voltage across the capacitor. So the voltage across the capacitor that is the instantaneous voltage is simply 1 over C times the integral from T naught to T of I of T dt plus V of T naught. So basically this is equal to we have 1 over now C is 2 times 10 to the power negative 6 times the integral of now we have t naught to be 0. So from 0 to t of i of t, we have i of t giving us this. So that is simply 6 times e to the power negative 3000 t dt plus 0. So we have v of t naught to be 0 volt. Now let's continue. So at this point, we are going to pull out the constant so that it comes outside. So basically we have 6 divided by 2 times 10 to the power negative 6 times the integral from 0 to t of e to the power negative 3000 t dt. The next thing is we are going to perform integration with respect to t. So we have 6 divided by 2 times 10 to the power negative 6 on the outside times now as we integrate this function with respect to t first of all we are going to differentiate the exponent and then it appears at the denominator so we differentiate negative 3000 t with respect to t and then we have negative 3000 so that appears at the denominator and then we are going to repeat the same function at the numerator so that is basically e to the power negative 3000 t and then integral from 0 to t so we multiply negative 3 by 2 and then we are going to have 6 at the numerator divided by negative 6 so we have negative 3 times 2 that's negative 6 and then also we have three zeros here so that is zero 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 times 10 to the power negative six or times e to the power negative three thousand now we put the upper limit which is t minus e to the power negative three thousand and then we put the lower limit which is zero So, if we evaluate 6 divided by negative 6,000 times 10 to the power negative 6, that simply gives us negative 1,000. And then we have this times e to the power negative 3,000 t minus. Now, any non-zero number raised to the power 0 is 1. So, we have minus 1 here. Now, this is in millivolts okay this instantaneous voltage is in millivolts because we had the current to be in milliampers 
so it means that this voltage is in millivolts now what we are going to do here is we are going to divide this value we are going to divide this by 1000 so that we can put this voltage into volts so we divide by 1000 and then we have v of t that is equal to negative 1 times now we are going to write this negative one first and then plus e to the power negative 3000 t and this is in volts so we multiply negative one across we are going to have one minus e to the power negative 3000 t and basically this is the instantaneous voltage v of t across the capacitor now let's try question six the current through a hundred microfarad capacitor is i of t equals 50 sine 120 pi t milliampers calculate the voltage across it at t equals one millisecond and t equals five milliseconds take v of zero to be equal to zero so here we have capacitance c that is 100 microfarad that is simply 100 times 10 to the power negative 6 farad we also have instantaneous current that is 50 sine 120 pi t milliampers and then we are asked to take v of 0 equals 0 so we have the initial voltage that is v of 0 to be equal to 0 volts now what this primarily means is that we have t naught to be equal to 0 second and then at the same time this instantaneous current is given in milliampers now if we want to change this to amperes then we are basically going to divide this instantaneous current by 1000 so in that regard we are going to have i of t to be equal to we divide 50 by 1000 and that's going to give us 0 0.05 so we have 0 0.05 times the sine sine of we are going to have sine of 120 pi t in amperes now let's try to solve the question so we know that the instantaneous voltage v of t is given by 1 over c times the integral of we have i of t dt plus v of t naught this is the initial voltage and we have this to be equal to 1 over for the capacitance that is 100 times 10 to the power negative 6 times the integral of i of t that is 0 0.05 sine 120 pi t dt and then plus 0 so at this point we are going to pull out the constant so we are going to have 0 0.05 divided by 100 times 10 to the power negative 6 and then if we evaluate that we are going to get 500 on the outside so we have 500 times the integral of sine sine 120 pi t dt so if we integrate this then we are going to have now we are going to differentiate 120 pi t with respect to t and that is going to appear at the denominator so this how it's going to be like we differentiate 120 pi t with respect to t and then we have 120 pi and then we integrate sine and then we have negative cos so negative cos and then we are going to repeat the same thing here pi t and then at the same point you are going to introduce a constant of integration that is c1 
notice that this is not the capacitance this is the constant of integration and we call that c1 now at this point in time we pull out the denominator on the outside and then this negative so you have negative 500 divided by 120 pi times cos 120 pi t plus c1 so basically this is v of t now from the question we're asked to take v of 0 to be 0 that is the initial voltage at time t not equals 0 is 0 so we have t not to be 0 seconds we have the initial voltage to be 0 volts therefore we say that for v of 0 equals 0 we are going to have we are going to have 0 equals negative 500 over 120 pi times cos 120 pi times 0 plus c1 now because you have this 0 here it means that whatever we are going to have inside here is going to be 0 and then cosine of 0 is 1 so simply we have 0 equals negative 500 over 120 pi plus c1 we transpose this to the left hand side basically we are going to have c1 to be equal to 500 divided by 120 pi now at this point in time we are going to look out for this particular function that is v of t so we are going to have v of t we have v of t that is simply equal to negative 500 over 120 pi and then times cos 120 pi t and then plus c1 so that is 500 over 120 pi so basically this is the formula we are going to use to find the voltage across the capacitor at t equals 1 millisecond and also at t equals 5 milliseconds so let's do that so we say at t equals 1 millisecond which is the same as 0 0.001 second we have v of t to be equal to so we have negative 500 over 120 pi times we are going to have cosine of 120 pi times 0 0.001 and then plus 500 over 120 pi now make sure that your calculator is in the radian mode so if you evaluate this properly they are going to have 0 0.09314 volts so you can put this in millivolts that is remove the decimal place three times to the right so you have one two three then we have 93.14 millivolts so that is v of t at t equals one millisecond please make sure that your calculator is in the radiant mode when calculating this now similarly at t equals five milliseconds that is equal to 0 0.005 seconds we are going to have v of t that is going to be negative 500 over 120 pi times cosine of 120 pi times 0 0.005 and then plus 500 over 120 pi so we are going to have v of t that is going to be equal to 
seven three six volts so this is the instantaneous voltage at t equals one millisecond and then this is the instantaneous voltage at t equals five milliseconds